Thank you. 
Welcome back everyone to another game of Ekorina here presented by VRML. I am your caster skinny here and on cameras it is mini hat. So we, today we have Spaghetti and Ignite here, two very good teams. So we're just about ready here to start. Just waiting on Team Spaghetti to ready up. Yep, so this so, yeah. is going to be an exciting game, Skinny. Uh, thanks for joining me on the cast. Uh, this is my own near and dear Team Spaghetti, so I think I'll let uh, Skinny pull the bulk of the, the weight on this cast for you guys uh, to give you a nice unbiased perspective, but uh, it'll be a fun one. Yeah, definitely both Spaghetti and Ignite having strong records so far, so just... Really both teams only losing to the... Um, to the top four or five teams here, so just really exciting gameplay so far. So really excited to see which team here pulls out as um, victorious here as we wait for Llama Cat to reconnect hopefully soon. Yeah, I think we're either going to get Llama Cat or Blenders. Uh, if that man is out of bed yet, we'll find out momentarily. But we don't want to hold up this match any longer because Ignite has an upcoming match on venues right after this. So stay tuned for that, all you viewers who are watching Ignite right now. Yeah, so... Oh, <laughs> thank you, Liam. That is correct. The teams are switched around. Ignite is an orange. Oh. <laughs> Spaghetti is on blue. All right, good catch. All right, and it does look like Blenders has joined the game here. We're just about ready to get this game started. Um, yeah, so as Mini Hat was mentioning, we are currently live on venues here. So if you do want to join on your quest here and see it from quests along your peers, just tune in on to oculus venues here and then you'll actually be watching a different game and a european game actually going but nonetheless enough about venues enough about european games because this is the well i got jinxed <laughs> <laughs> it looks like spaghetti may have debated us into starting does appear we have blenders in the arena now, so I'm wondering if that might be the cause of the delay. Ah, now they're readied up. Maybe it won't restart this time, but <laughs> as I said, enough about the news, enough about Europeans. So and this is for the North American side, Ignite versus Spaghetti. So here on the Joust, let's see who wins it. Both teams sick extremely fast, so let's see which team can get to it first. So, strong starts from both teams, but it does look like Spaghetti is able to get the best of it right now. Um, Spaghetti with a great headbutt and now in control of it, is gonna back it out for Meatballer, has no back pass, it's actually go gonna go for a self-reset maybe, or self-clear maybe, but I was there to recover it for his team, and now again on the push is Meatballer, now with a forward pass onto Blender, so the 1v1 opportunity, 2v1 opportunity, but Duel with a great save, but Blenders, they're able to recover it again. Unfortunate mishandling by Duel, not able to clear it, and allows Blenders for another try for the first blood for Spaghetti. Yeah, great start for Spaghetti here, just... And then Ignite definitely had that in control, but unfortunately not able to get that first clear. Definitely not the game not over yet, just 40 seconds in, and now Ignite on their first push here gets a good deep pass down onto the midfield, just and takes no time in to reset it here. Just push that Spaghetti defense, or Spaghetti frontliners, better said, onto the back lines. And now again, baiting out that Spaghetti defense. And now far going for that pocket shot, but just a little bit off the mark. Great defense by Ao here. And now, Ao is going to go for a clear, but Wolf, great positioning by him. Actually hiding behind those double diamonds in the middle. Just bit, absolutely baiting that shot. And now Wolf is going to go for a pass onto Far, who is on the roof, but just a little bit off the mark. France trying to recover a lot of chaos. It's going to allow Far to go for that two-pointer. Meatball just a little bit off the mark. A little bit too late here. Up to tie up the game. One minute and 30 seconds in. So solid starts here from both teams. Both teams currently right now seeming to lack that clear because you, you're starting to see from both sides here great punches and, and great um, stops really. But just... Some, the inability to clear it just speaks to the good pressure from both teams right now. But now it is Spaghetti in possession here now. Ow for Spaghetti is going to go for a deep pass onto the nest. Nobody watching him and Meatballer maybe going for a little bit too steezy shot. 
not what you want to do, especially against the Gnaya. Now they're going to get a good clear and a good leech from out. Maybe it's going to allow them to recover. <laughs> Extremely risky play here coming up from Spaghetti here. And now Ignite is going to punish that. Go, maybe go for a long three point, just a little bit off the mark, but it doesn't matter. Two Ignite players are there on the mark. Going to go for a nice backboard, but just just this great defense from out again. Going for that top clear. Wolf was there last time and he is there again, but just... A little bit unfortunate bounces is going to allow Oculusator to go for a three-pointer attempt here. Just a little bit off the mark. But great stack from Spaghetti. A great <laughs> dodges all around, baiting that Ignite defense just to bubble up on the, <laughs> that bubble. And now, but again, great goaling action from Duel. Just not allowing three attempts so far until the goal. All have been denied by Duel. And now Far with a great punch and great pressure is going to get a clear. But again, Blender's playing that. Far back position is gonna able to steal that, prevent that clear for Team Ignite, and then just some quick pass play onto Meatballer and some punches going around to allow three points and a three point lead to Spaghetti. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, so, yeah, a lot of chaos going on in the first. Oh, looks like they have rematched. We may have run into some technical issues, so many hat. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Um, Ignite's definitely put up a strong showing on defense here. Uh, I know some of my spaghetti players, uh, they like to play a little steezy, and Ignite is doing an excellent job punishing that. Lots of whiff shots on the goal and a lot of stuffs coming out from Duel, so I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing from Ignite so far, Skinny. Yeah, absolutely, and what, what it feels like it should be Ignite winning here just... Spaghetti yeah. just having good, good clear. Um, Spaghetti's having good clear management, just not allowing them to clear the disc and just, yeah, just doing some quick pass places. Uh, right now, we do have a spaghetti lead, but I don't know that's gonna last for too long. So yeah, we'll see we'll, what happens here we'll once see, the game's uh, restart. Ignite has definitely had a lot of. Uh, we, we've seen them a lot on defense so far, so. Remains to be seen uh, how they play when they get a good offensive opportunity uh, with with strong disc control over on the spaghetti side of the arena. So I'm excited to see what they what they bring to the table. This is a team that every time we play them, they look strong. They have good plays, good teamwork. You can tell this is one of the teams with excellent communication in the whole league. So I'm not gonna make any calls at this point. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be a really good game. So it does look we're like we're just about ready to start. Uh, let me check if they haven't not pinged the caster, so... Um, no, they have not. Yeah, it looks like they have the, the time and the score set correctly, so... Here, Spaghetti and Ignite does look like they have... <laughs> they're just about ready to restart here. Of uh, Offensive... or... Uh, Joust advantage is gonna go to Ignite here after Spaghetti scored the good three-pointer here. So let's see what Ignite here, given the opportunity of this control, can pull off here. But now Spaghetti is probably gonna do a fast launch here, trying to pressure that disc, make try to cause a lot of mistakes. But Ignite just being absolutely prepared for a very good pass sequence here, a deep pass onto Forest of one v one opportunity, maybe three-pointer opportunity. But Spaghetti already back on defense. A wolf going for a dunk opportunity, but just a little bit off the mark. But and actually, he's gonna go for a failed clear, or reset pass here. His teammate's not ready for it, and now Wolf is gonna try to recover here for Ignite, causing <laughs> Spaghetti causing a lot of chaos here. Oculusator with a good stun here is gonna recover it and gonna clear it for Spaghetti, but Ignite <laughs> doing some damage control here, trying to clear it, but again, some great clear just denial from Spaghetti, and now Ah uh, with a 1v1 opportunity here to extend their lead. Five points to Spaghetti, five minutes and 45 seconds in. So yeah, just Spaghetti causing a lot of chaos for Ignite on on off on their offensive drive. Just good plays on Spaghetti so far. Just absolute denial of any just bubble plays really. You can see them pressure and Ignite getting a little bit nervous and resetting and actually messing up those resets and now spaghetti with some great offensive control 
are gonna get stunned out, but now far gonna go for a good clear. It is, it is clear, and now it does it look like a night hour there first to so this Wolf or going a long three pointer, but just clips the shield. Unfortunate for ignite here, just Wolf with a great shot, but just a little bit of the mark just would have been nice to hear to see a two point game. And now Spaghetti wasting no time on their punish here. Meatball are gonna go for a deep clear. Ow, almost ready for it. Gonna try to read the bounce pass here, but three ignite players on him are gonna say no thank you on here. For another ignite clear, but just a little bit off the mark. Blender's gonna go for a steezy three pointer here. Out of good denial by ignite, and here struggling again is ignite on the clear. Just and Spaghetti taking taking their time right now. Just absolutely, once they gain regain position, they just sit, wait <laughs> wait for the shot. Just take their time, and but ignite again some great defense in general, but again not able to clear it. It's gonna allow Spaghetti. Here to try to push it up again, just some passing plays here, trying to bait out, bait out that Ignite defense, and now with a great shot on the roof, it's Meatball going for that pocket, but it's just a little bit of a mark. Ignite here is might be able here to recover it, France going for a panic clear, not able to get it, and now again and again we see Spaghetti getting possession of it now. Oculus Hitler is ready for that pass, good positioning by him, 1v1 opportunity here, it's gonna go for a good pocket shot here to extend their lead to a 7 point game. Ignite is putting up an impressive showing on defense here. I know it seems like Spaghetti is breaking through a couple of times, but the number of stops is, is just incredible. These guys are making amazing reads, and unfortunately those clears not coming through, but on defense overall, this team is so strong right now. Absolutely. Yeah, you could see them actually taking possession of this, but just unfortunate clears not working out in their favor right now. But an Oculus with some more great pressure is going to get a three-pointer. Just good sneak play, really, just going from above him. Wolf having zero idea that someone was on him and secure, <laughs> securing another cheeky three points. So now it is with three minutes to go. It is a 10-point lead right now. For Spaghetti, strong lead so far. Relatively low scoring game for both teams, but so Ignite here really have to turn it up. Not an absolute impossible. It's not impossible right now for Ignite to come back, but it's going to be really, really difficult here for Ignite here. As Spaghetti have right now some really good passing plays here. Going for a bounce shot on the roof is Meatballer with a nice shot to extend their lead again. 13 points. Just what a good passing play there. Just. You can see Meatball just not actually defending here, just relying on his betting, really, on his teammates to get that get that interception and just get it to him. And with an Meatball there with a nice bounce shot from the roof to secure three more points. Now Ignite going for their classic plays, now putting the, all of their players in, in one lane here, just going for a reset here. And now it is Ignite with two players in the bubble. 2v1 opportunity here is going to go for this nice pocket here. It is two minutes to go, so just all some good recovery here, but just they need to pull it up here if they want to win this first round. Look at that disc placement, Skinny. That was amazing. He just pocketed that disc as well as I've ever seen anyone do it. From the ground, which was really good. <laughs> A sky hook, as some would say. <laughs> For those old players out there. So, anyways, so Spaghetti here. Again on the offensive, just just some just some quick flashing plays. One v one opportunity, just absolutely denied by duel. Some great reads there, and again, as, as I've been saying, and again, again, unfortunate clear here, meatballer. Wow, with a good three point here, a picture perfect placement there. Just zero doubt on that backboard shot. Good job on him on noticing that there was no goalies and just yeah, I can't just. This great placement by him. And now with one minute to go, it does seem like this first round is gonna go for Team Spaghetti here. Just Ignite with a great showing so far. Just not right now being able to put any pressure because they can't clear. And now Meatball are maybe getting another three pointer shot here, but ow, oh, they're to secure it here in the closing stages of this round. So as the time as the clock does wind down, Ignite here maybe trying to score some points here. Absolutely 
this round may have gone to spaghetti, but I mean, the score absolutely not able to tell what's going to happen in the second round. We've seen this time and time and again where a team is has a dominant start, but this can very possibly go the <laughs> turn the other way if if spaghetti get a little bit too steezy, which. I can see I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah, that is a definite possibility, Skinny. I must confess. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it's a thing a team joker, don't worry. As well. <laughs> <laughs> keep, yeah, it, it's it's a balance, you know. Like, yeah, we won confidently, comfortably, but we I mean, you gotta respect these teams. They can they're absolutely in the position to make some naughty shot, naughty shots if given the opportunity here. It's just. Yeah, you can't take. You, you're allowed to take certain more risks, but not that many, because Ignite will definitely punish punish yeah. that. And right now, all Ignite has to do is work on their clears, and I think we're about to see a much, much, much closer game. Yeah, Ignite is a very strong team, and despite the score differential here, they were playing quite well. Uh, I know it's all about the mental game after you take a hard round one like that, and if any team is going to be able to pull it together and give a really good round two here, I think Ignite is probably that team, so definitely interested to see what they bring here. Absolutely, and it does look like we're going to start immediately the second round here. Team Ignite does need to win this round in order if they want to see a third round for any chance here to take the set. And now again, Spaghetti would I was a quick start, absolute Ignite respecting that they're gonna get the disc hurt, but oh, wow, just Oculus Hater with a great grab there on the side of the goal. Actually enabled that 1v1 opportunity. Ignite just absolutely not expecting it. You could see that Ignite were ready to give up that jazz and actually kind of position themselves for it for the disc to actually come back to them but just didn't work that way and <laughs> a good two point start here for spaghetti again but now it does look like they seems like they are finally able to push it here onto the spaghetti zone maybe trying to create some chaos here it is a loose disc but it does look like i was the is gonna get their first four team spaghetti now i'm gonna go for some cheeky plays maybe <laughs> Under the sh under the goal here, coming actually relatively close. And now again, ignite just not able to get it just in the nick of time. Oculus hit with a great slap here, five points for Spaghetti. So so far, guys, if you have enjoyed this game and you want to keep seeing more Echo Arena here, we are live on Benny's here in the main. VR Master League channel, so go check that out after. If you're on Quest, you can go on Oculus Venues here to watch um, more games live. So we're are actually gonna go see, um, gonna see Ignite here in a little bit. Play versus. Here, let me check my caster schedule. Synapse here gonna be also a great game here. So Ignite definitely into some into some tough, match tough matches matchups, but I'm sure they'll do just as good as they're doing here, maybe even actually take some rounds off Synapse. Yeah, absolutely. Ignite deserves this type of hard matchup. Uh, just depending on the day, they can come out and surprise you. It looks like they they might have an offensive chance right here. But Synapse is another example of one of these really strong teams, and Ignite's going to come into that game warmed up after this game. Uh, definitely worth checking out. You guys should all go over to the VRML channel or, or get on Oculus Venues if you own a quest. That would definitely be the best way to experience uh, the games that are coming up. Yeah, Ignite on the dunk opportunity, just a little bit off the pass there. You could see an Ignite player ready below the goal. The goalie not really aware of it, or able to do anything, but Spaghetti with a great clear and now some great chains here to extend their lead to a seven point game. Seven, almost three minutes into the first, second round. So yeah, you could see Ignite in, for the most part of that, of that, um, of that time, Ignite was in control, but all it took is one good clear from Spaghetti and a good chain to really secure to secure those two points. Really uncontested right now, and now Spaghetti running that chain um, offensive there, uh, offensive attack there is gonna little it's gonna force a reset pass here from Ignite. Gonna here try to push it up here, but you could see Spaghetti players getting a little bit confident here. Just you could see them; they actually have three players in the midfield or pushing up even if, if the disc even if there's ignite players down deep they're ignoring them so that's an interesting strategy so now it is ignite here in control of the disc but 
And now Ignite is going to probably try to bait one of those players, but Meatballer with a critical save there, and it's going to get a good clear, maybe a backboard shot here. A little bit off the mark, but again, Spaghetti was waiting, waiting for that, actually, this, this to come back to them, but Ignite with a quick stack here is going to regain possession, and now some great pressure from Oculus Hater is going to deny that pass, and instead of going with a clear, is going to get punished by Oculus Hater here to extend their lead to a 10-point game. But yeah, just unfortunate des decision by Ignite to pass it there instead of to go for the clear and Oculus Aider just right in the nick of time able to deny any clear and even the pass completion in the first place to secure another good three points. But with six minutes to go, Ignite definitely still in this game. It's not over yet, and but it <laughs> there is a 10 point differential, a high ask for any team. And now Ignite going for some resets, it's able to bait out Oculus Aider good. Passes in the bubble. It's just gonna a little bit off the mark, but I go off the roof here to secure the first two points in the second round for Ignite. Ignite has extremely strong passing sequences there. Uh, they just got the disc right down to the spaghetti zone and it did not let up that entire play. Uh, Ignite has some really good pass sequences here, but it, it's, I think, at this level. Uh, of play, of high level play, it's a matter of should I even do this pass sequence because I, I think a lot of teams miss that, uh, that if I do this pass, there's time in between where the disc gets from point A to point B and a lot of players, a lot of um, defense is actually starting to bait that bait, bait that pass, so good, good on them and now Spaghetti with another opportunity just Maybe going for a little bit of too steezy play here is absolutely good denial by Ignite, but again struggling again to clear it is Ignite, which allows Oculus Hater to go for some juky plays. Oculus Hater <laughs> going for some ducks. Good read by far, but fortunately he's not able to clear blenders on that back line. Gonna go for a pass on the floor. Oculus Hater just gonna slightly go in and <laughs> here again to extend your lead by 10. Yes, Akko Seder, the master of stees and pump fakes and jukes, uh, but Ignite doing a really good job punishing that. That was try number three or four before he finally scored that goal there. Yeah, you, you, there's really so much you can, you can do before <laughs> players will start to pick up on the tendencies. And now it is a good clear for Ign Ignite here, and it's going to allow again to make it an 8 point differential here, but not a lot of time left here. It, is there is only three minutes and 45 seconds left for ignite here to score eight points here and maybe bring it here into an overtime or hopefully take this round to because i personally want to see a round three maybe not you mini yet but i want to <laughs> see a round three here now al is gonna do or sorry <laughs> blenders is gonna receive that pass here ignite leaving that middle lane available and now some Two on one action is a great defense from Ignite. Just great defense here. Just absolutely denied a goal score, any goal scoring opportunity. Some great saves coming out from Duel here. Just two on ones, one on ones, you name it. Duel's been saving so many goals here, and Ignite finally able to clear here. The disc is in their bubble, but it does look like Ao is going to get first to that disc. Some, maybe a lot of punching play coming out from Spaghetti to deny that Ignite stack, and now. Ao is going to go for a long three-pointer shot, just a little bit off the mark, but it does not matter. Ao again is able to recover it, but good Ignite Chain is going to get in. Maybe a Joker train here, but a <laughs> good shot here by Meatballer. Here too. And now, it's not only, a, again, put it a 10-point differential, so again, Spaghetti not really letting Ignite get closer to, from that 10-point differential. So now there is two... Two minutes and 20 seconds left, not a lot of time here for Team Ignite. They do have to score, start thinking about scoring those risky threes here, but Spaghetti not making that, that any easier as they pressure and pressure here. NTS France is able to recover the disc and a pass onto Wolf is going to be made as a redshift player some, somehow joins. Anyways, we're going to keep play here as Meatballer is able to recover the disc here and get a good clear, <laughs> clear here for spaghetti here but just a great chain from ignite <laughs> and they're gonna <laughs> and they're gonna do some maybe some bounce bounce plays here but just out not allowing that right now 
at the, at this point, one minute and four, forty seconds left. All Spidey has to do is just chill out at their goal and and score. And not even then, they gotta get get some more great clears. And and now it's a twelve point differential for Spaghetti. Hey, Jiggy, maybe join, uh, joining the wrong lobby here in this match, but it does not matter. Um, now with one minute left and 12 points, we're already starting to get into that mathematical time where no matter what, Spaghetti will win this round. Two pointers, good two pointer here by Ignite, but not what they needed. They absolutely need three pointers right now and quickly because they do not have a lot of time left. Yeah, I think we, we may be already past this threshold where it's going to be extremely hard if not impossible for ignite to come back but a very respectable showing by them yeah, especially like good passing good teamwork and and far with quite a performance today looks like and absolutely and given the opportunity just look at that just great three-pointer by france but spaghetti just that uh, for the most part absolutely denying those kinds of opportunities tonight and just you could definitely tell that um the that clears and and really getting the disc down to spaghetti side here was the defining factor i think for this set and here as the wine does clock down i can say with absolute certainty here certainty here <laughs> that spaghetti is gonna take the second round and the set here again meatballer here closing it out with a great three-pointer So, Minihead, you want to go quickly over the stats? Uh, yep. Just getting our scores up here. And we'll pull up our scoreboard. Yeah, we can look at the stats briefly and then we'll get send everyone over to Oculus Venues to witness the upcoming match between Ignite and Synapse at 4 p.m. and I think Venues is currently live with other matches. Uh, but in this, in this game here, uh, we have Quite a lot of points uh, from Spaghetti, led by Meatballer with 18, Oculusator with 15. Um, a number of, of saves coming out from Blenders and, and Ow. Actually, three saves on Ow this game. Uh, over on the side of Ignite, looks like Far leading with, with eight points scored. We saw him uh, always down around the Spaghetti goal and just driving it in on the goalie. Uh, NTS Franz also with five. We just witnessed that nice three-pointer shot from him right as round two wound down there. Uh, possession, exactly 50-50, Skinny. What do you think of that? That's very interesting. I mean, not really surprising. You could see Ignite had possession of the disc, but they didn't have possession of the disc in Spaghetti side. They had possession of the disc on, on their side. And as I was saying, they, they had the trouble of just pushing it up. Maybe a little bit. It's, it's just, as I was saying, it's, it's that play where you want to keep possession of the disc, but you also want to clear it because eventually you're going to make a mistake. No matter if you're Team Choker or or a Kangorillas, the more time you keep it on your own zone, the high, the more chances you're gonna get it stolen from. Yeah, and I'll also take a, a quick moment to to point out Oculusator with 44 stuns, which is more than twice any other player in the match. Uh, not exactly a Y perm level of stuns, but this is the closest I think I've seen in in a while. Uh, that's an impressive brawling game from Oculusator. <laughs> again again would like to have a word about you about that anyways um <laughs> yes absolutely and, gilligan a, another very well-known strong brawling player yeah and, and in certain situations brawling is the way to go but anyways <laughs> here it has been here ignite versus spaghetti here some great set of matches you can keep if you do want to keep watching echo arena here if you're on uh, actually, everybody here is on Twitch. Go here and check out v the official VR Master League Twitch channel. We are streaming some more Echo Arena. And if you do have a quest, you can go check it out on Oculus Venues. I uh, here, I have been your caster, Skinny here, I'll joined alongside by Mini Hat on cameras as well. Thank you, everyone, and have a great evening. <laughs>